What's up? How are you guys? And it's actually Tuesday at Frankie's Syringe range meet. We had a lot going on yesterday. I've been working to get the farm share meet organized. But uh, before we get started into the exciting stuff, uh, we had the court hearing last Monday and literally hours after, oh, what a coincidence, FDNY inspector shows up. So this was last Monday, three hours after the court date. That's the FDNY inspector knocking on my door, <laughs> literally, literally a few hours after I get back from the court date. So my guys uh, did not let her in. And they actually came about a month and a half ago and convinced my guys to let them in, did a full inspection, no violations were issued. Uh, so, you know, clearly the landlord knows someone at the fire department if they're doing this. So here's the other view, the FDNY inspector, Walking on over. Knocks on the door, talks to my guys. They don't let her in and she leaves. So I went down to the records headquarters in Brooklyn the other day and I got just proof that there are no violations on the building. So this guy is clearly still sending these government agents over to try to get me evicted faster. I don't know what the point is. That's the only thing I can think of. So. Uh, let's go upstairs and show you guys what's going on today outside of Frank Tefano being harassed as usual. So since it's Tuesday, we don't have as many orders. We're just uh, finishing off what we did not get to complete on Monday. More importantly, let's hop in the freezer and let me show you guys the new stuff we got. So one product that I'm pretty excited about is liverwurst and this is made Amish style. So uh, there's no actual pork liver in it. It tastes much better without the pork liver. It's basically just uh, pork bones, uh, boiled down and then they take the meat and mix it with some seasoning. It's very, very, very good. The beef bacon we have and pork bacon, difference between that and what we normally sell is this is cured and smoked. So the Iberico bacon we've been selling, the beef bacon we've been selling is just thinly sliced beef belly, nothing on it. This stuff is more of the traditional bacon. So we're going to put some of the beef bacon in the beef share and the pork bacon and the liverwurst will go in the pork share, but th there's a pretty limited amount uh, of the bacon and the liverwurst, guys. It's gonna be mostly sausages. Starting with the smoked beef sausage. So this is just plain. Salt, little bit of smoke, very, very delicious. And none of this stuff is really cooked through. So you can make it whatever temperature you like because it's completely raw inside of it. The spiced beef sausage is really delicious. I like it. Not as much as the hot dogs, but it's still very, very tasty. Onion, garlic, mushroom, so it's, it's pretty minimally inflammatory, none of those crazy spices. My favorite thing so far has been the hot dogs, guys. These are the best hot dogs I've ever had. They're amazing, amazing, amazing. I could eat like five of them on their own, so I'm excited for you guys to try these hot dogs and let me know how you like them. The Italian sausage we have over here is actually made with pork. I tried this out yesterday. Very, very good. Very good. Um, these are the highest quality, all organic, best meat. Pork is pasture raised, beef is grass fed. Nothing like this on the market, guys. And they're very, very delicious. Uh, so those three, the smoked beef sausage, the spiced, and the hot dogs are gonna be in the, in the beef share. And the, the pork Italian sausage is gonna be in the pork share. Uh, we also have some pork breakfast sausage. Haven't tried these out yet, I'll let you guys know. We have pork bologna as well as beef bologna. The bologna is incredibly delicious, very good guys. Just a bit of onion, bit of garlic and smoked. So these two obviously in the pork share, pretty limited amount and then small amount of beef bologna in the beef share. What will also be in the beef share is some amazing looking steaks. Uh, guys, we have some porterhouse, T-bone, huge thick cut steaks and we have some gigantic bone and ribeyes as well. I think I showed you guys last week we have both beef trim fat and the beef suet fat back in stock. Already kind of running out of the marrow bones, but we have those as well. We have uh, some new portion tenderloin guys. These are pretty nice, uh, six ounces each on the tenderloin. So it comes as a 12 ounce package. Uh, we got smaller portioned on the New York strip steaks. These are nine ounces. Same with the ribeye steaks. We got some smaller portions on the ribeyes as well, guys. So you have an option of getting nine ounce ribeye, one pound, or we even have the organic ribeye down here. Some more of the nine ounce ribeye. And I guess some good news and bad news. So uh, some chicken showed up, it's not good. Uh, we're gonna send it back and grind it into pet food. Uh, same with the 
uh, the USDA meat that we can't sell, uh, we, we could send it back to the butcher, grind it into pet food, and, and sell it as actual pet food. The only reason I didn't want to sell pet food is because, you know, when you're selling frozen or fresh product for four or five, six dollars a pound, it, it's almost not worth it to ship it because uh, the coolers, the dry ice, all that stuff is so expensive. Like if someone ordered uh, like 20 pounds of pet food to California, I'd probably lose money on the order, like a lot of money on the order. If someone ordered it locally, it might not be that bad. It's just not that high of a profit margin. But uh, because we don't have an outlet for like a thousand pounds of chicken and like 2000 pounds of beef, uh, we're gonna grind it all up into pet food, pet treats. It's gonna be, according to USDA, denatured with charcoal or bone meal if you can get it. But the point is guys, it's, it's actually for pets. Like this is not food for human consumption, although it is very high quality grass-fed beef, corn and soy free chicken. It's just gonna be like ground up fresh pet food. Um, so maybe we'll have that next week. But what I'm also really excited about for next week is we should be getting some glands in stock as like, as frozen meat, fresh meat. So normally like we've been selling the, the beef powders like testicle powder or adrenal powder on organ supplements, but we're gonna actually have the glands now that we're, we're gonna see how we sell them. But I don't think anyone else is selling those uh, online. It's gonna be very, very unique. I'm excited about that. Um, should be coming next week. I'm not holding my breath. We did get a restock of the eggs. You guys have been buying them also. Um, we're actually gonna get some more eggs coming in this week just to make sure we don't run out. All of the cheeses are in stock, guys. You guys bought most of the roast beef. We still have some of the fire roast ribeye left, but let me show you guys this. This is, this is rare, it's delicious. Best, highest quality product on the market. I don't think we got anything going on uh, down here. Uh, Oregon Supplements, we should have the new product line uh, maybe in a month, month and a half, two months. Not sure exactly when they're coming. I'm gonna check on that. Uh, same with the, the glands. That's gonna be the new transition stuff for organ supplements. On Frankie's Naturals, uh, we should have the new moisturizing cream available in the four ounce portion. And I'm also gonna try to make everything else for you guys, the tooth powder and stuff. Wi-Fi shielding, we're gonna do a video tomorrow showing you guys some of the new products. You guys have been buying all of the water kefir. So it basically sells out within a day or two with the new flavors, ginger, apple, pineapple, banana, and regular, we make sure that you know it does the second fermentation properly and then it stays in the fridge so it stays as active as possible. I've spoken about it before, but the water kefir is one of those things where it's incredibly, incredibly difficult. You know, you have like a live active culture uh, to make sure the product is, is, has integrity when it gets to people. And, and we've been doing a good job at that. I haven't had any complaints about it. So we have some very nice reviews about the water kefir. I'll read them in uh, next week's video but I guess the last thing to touch on is all of the bars are in stock guys vanilla berry chocolate let me know how you guys have been enjoying them we should be able to get the pemmican bars uh, back in stock this week and we have the new organic rice crisp uh, that I spoke about last week we'll, we'll touch on it a little more maybe Thursday for a, a meal oh plain jerky is restocked as well as always if you guys have any issues with the order uh, please just reach out to me via email. I've been trying my best to uh, get back to everyone and respond, but you know I'm just I'm just one person. I'm doing everything myself. So guys, please be patient in some cases. Uh, the farm share meat should be available on the website by the end of this week. Uh, we just have to figure out you know how much of each meat we have and how to evenly distribute it. So what will be listed under the beef share, under the pork share, is uh, the amount of each individual product that you will be getting. And uh, uh, oh, uh, we, that chicken that came in was no good. So we're getting another shipment of chicken in later this week. If you guys have been waiting for the, the chicken parts and stuff. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm debating on either uh, getting a warehouse somewhere else or uh, disappearing to Mexico with some very pretty young ladies uh, because I don't think I am able to get a large enough loan for a USDA plant and I don't see uh, any USDA plants that are for sale. And the problem with even getting a, a meat packing operation or a slaughterhouse is they usually won't have the infrastructure to run the distribution business as well. Um, so that's kind of hard to hold out for. So we'll, we'll see how it goes over the next few months. But you know, I'm still getting new product in, still trying to keep everything in stock, keep you guys happy and healthy. So uh, we'll see you guys for tomorrow's video, which should be showing you guys some new of the Wi-Fi products.
Thank you.